Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Want a website that's both easy for visitors to navigate and loved by search engines? Header tags are your key to the success. Today we are focusing on H1, H2 and H3, the foundational tags that organizes your content and boosts your SEO. Let's learn how to use them strategically for a well-structured user-friendly website. Understanding the role of H1, H2 and H3 tags. Think of them like a road sign on your web page. They guide visitors around, making it clear what information is most important and how everything connects. But here's the secret, H1, H2 and H3 tags aren't just good for user experience, they also play a big role in SEO. Search engine uses these tags to understand the structure and content of your page, which can influence your ranking in search results. Let's break down why these tags are so important. User experience. Imagine stumbling on a website that's one giant block of text. Confusing, right? H1, H2 and H3 text visually break up your content, making it easier for visitors to scan and find exactly what they need. Think of them as signposts that guide people through your page. Search engine love. Search engines like Google use crawler to analyze your website. These crawlers pay close attention to your header text to understand the hierarchy of your content and its main theme. Properly structured header text help signal to search engines what your page is about which can boost your ranking in search results. So let's get specific. H1, this is the king of your headline, the main title of the page. Only use one per page. H2, these are your trusty subheadings breaking down major sections of your content. S3, use them for even further organization within the sections created by H2. Pro tip, imagine your web page as an outline. Your H1 is your main topic, S2 are your key points and your supporting details can be H3. This approach creates a logical flow of information. By strategically using H1, H2 and S3 tags, you will create content that both captivates your audience and impresses search engines. It's a win-win situation for your website. Ready to see the work in practice? Stick around for a live demonstration where I will show you the do's and don'ts of header text. Got any hashtag related questions? Drop them in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more website optimization tips. All right, let's switch gear and take a look at how we use header text on our own website page traffic. One thing we really focus on is making our content super user friendly. So notice how we use clear description headings throughout our page. Our main title is our H1 and we use H2 to break down major sections. One of our goal is to make it easy for visitors to quickly find what they are looking for, whether it's information about our service, helpful blog post or resources. Descriptive headings are key to guiding users for right section of our website. Here's a tip, when creating your website headings, think carefully about the keyword and phrases you target audience might be searching for. Incorporate those into your heading whenever possible. Also remember your H1 should be super clear about the page, main topics followed by H2 and H3 that supports and expand upon that topic in a logical way. As page traffic, we believe a well-organized website is essential for both a great user experience and SEO goals. H1 tag, your page headline. Think of your H1 tag as the most important title on your web page. Here's what you need to know about the nitty gritties of H1 tag. Clear and concise. Summarize your page main topic in a few words. Include your target keyword, which helps search engine understand your content. And one H1 per page. Each page needs a clear singular focus. Why only one H1? Your website is like a book and the H1 is its title. Imagine how confusing a book would be with multiple titles. H1 versus page title. WordPress example. Let's clear up common point of confusion, especially if you use WordPress. When you type in your blog post title, you think you are setting the page title, but you are actually setting the H1. Here's why. User experience. The page title can be more eye-catching. SEO. The H1 can be optimized for your primary keyword. Best practice. Keep your H1 and visible title similar, but you can adjust them for different purposes. Let's see this in action. We'll take a look at this page traffic blog post. We will use inspect element to view the HTML code and find the H1, which is our main title. Pro tip, in WordPress, the title you enter automatically becomes your H1 tag. You can then adjust it slightly if needed to perfect balance of user experience and keyword optimization. Remember, a well-crafted H1 tag sets the stage for a well-understood content and web page. Assign primary keyword to H1 tag and secondary keywords to subsequent headings for SEO optimization. Harnessing the power of H2 tags for subheadings. Think of H2 tags as subheadings within your web page. They break up your content into manageable sections, making it easy for both readers and search engines to understand. Here's the lowdown on H2 tags. Be descriptive. Clearly summarize the content under each subheadings. Keyword support. Include secondary keywords related to your main topic. Sweet spot. Aim for three to five H2 tags per page 
most content. When can I use more than five H2s? Listicles. If you have a list style article like 10 ways to boost traffic, then more H2s are natural. Too broad. If you need many H2s on a regular article, it might be a sign that your main topic is too broad or your content needs to be more focused. Now let's see S2 tags in action. Let's use this page traffic blog as a real world example of S2 tag usage. Page purpose. Our goal with this page is to help visitors understand enterprise SEO, which is a complex topic with several steps. S2S guidepost. The S2 tag act like a signpost guiding readers through the essential section of this guide. I will use inspect element to reveal the HTML. Notice the sections like what is enterprise SEO, advantages, etc. These are the S2 tags. Why these S2 tag works well? Clarity. Each S2 accurately summarizes the content that follows. Logical flow. They break down a complex topic into a digestible part. SEO boost. The S2 tags likely contains relevant keywords helping search engine understand the page. Key takeaway. Think of your S2 tags as a main section of an outline. If your S2 reads like a clear logical outline, you are likely on the right track. Remember, when chosen S2 tags make your content stand out, easier to understand for both visitors and search engine crawlers. S3 tags. Adding details and structure. Think of S3 tag as a way to further break down sections created by your S2 tags. Here's the breakdown of S3. Minimum of two. Aim for at least two S3s under each S2 to provide enough explanations. Sweet spot. Two to four S3s per S2 section is ideal for most content. Too many S3s? If you need more, it might mean your S2 section is too broad and could be split into multiple S2 sections. SEO tips. Include relevant questions people are actually searching for in your S3 tags. Great for long form content. Here's the S3 on the page traffic blog. Let's analyze this post. S2 recap. Remember your S2 were the main section of this guide. S3 breakdown. See how under each S2 there are multiple S3s. I will use inspect element to confirm their HTML tag. Clarity and structure. These S3s makes the content even easier to scan and digest. Remember, a well-structured website with H1, H2 and S3 tags working together is win for both users and search engines. Best practices. Keep it simple. You might be wondering why stop S3 tags. Here's the thing. User experience. Too many headings can be overwhelming and confusing for readers. H1, H2 and S3 tags provide the perfect amount of structure for most content. Search engine focus. Search engine primarily focus on those first three levels of headings to understand your page topic. A special case, H4 for list. If you have an important list of bullet points you want to highlight, H4 tag can be useful. My recommendations. Stick to H1, H2 and S3 tags are most of your content. If you have a strong reason to visually emphasize the list, then H4 tags are your go-to. Remember, a well-structured website with clear hierarchy of headings make it easier for both users and search engines to understand your content. That's a win-win. Conclusion, header tags for success. Remember, optimizing your H1, H2 and S3 tags isn't just about formatting. It's crucial strategy for improving both user experience and SEO performance. Here's the recap. Accessibility, well-structured headings make content easy for everyone to navigate. Search engine clarity, header tags help search engine understand the hierarchy of your content. Common mistakes to avoid. Don't skip directly from H1 to S3. Make sure your content has a logical flow with a proper sequence of H1, H2 and S3 tags. Keyword strategy. H1, your primary keyword for page. S2 and S3 include related secondary keywords throughout your subheadings. Share these tips with your developer and content creators to make sure your entire website benefits from strategic header text usage. Wrapping up. In this video, we discovered how strategic header text can transform your content for both users and search engines. By following these guidelines, you will create websites that are easier to navigate and rank better in search results. Remember, mastering a header tag is an essential skill for well-structured SEO-friendly content. Stick to the best practices, build the hierarchy and you will see your web page shine. Want more SEO tips? Keep an eye on my upcoming video where I'll dive deeper into on-page SEO strategies. And if you find this video helpful, a thumbs up would be awesome. Bonus, be sure to check out my video on four must-have WordPress SEO plugins for even more way to optimize your website, which you can see on your screen right now and until next time happy optimizing cheers